KSBY's Megan Healy spoke exclusively with a Smart Families attorney, and she joins us in studio with the latest on lawsuits against Paul and Ruben Flores. Megan? Nina, civil attorney James Murphy filed a wrongful death lawsuit against Paul Flores on behalf of the Smart family in 1997. Now, over the years, judges have allowed that lawsuit to move forward. Today, he tells me he's planning on filing a lawsuit for intentional infliction of emotional distress against Ruben Flores by the end of next week. The current lawsuit against Paul resulted in the 1997 deposition where Paul pleads the Fifth Amendment to all questions except for his name. It also led to the 2007 dig of Susan Flores' East Branch Street home. It yielded no new evidence. Murphy says he filed a lawsuit against Ruben and Susan Flores in 97, but it was dropped when the Flores family filed for bankruptcy. Now Murphy believes there's enough evidence to show Ruben was an accessory to the murder of Kristen Smart and plans to sue him on behalf of the Smart family for emotional damages. There's absolutely no doubt that that conduct is repugnant and that is conduct that will generate punitive damages against Ruben in any court as well as general damages for the emotional distress and suffering, part of which was caused by the loss of the ability to bury their own daughter. The civil and criminal cases can move forward simultaneously, but the status of the lawsuit can be changed based on defense attorneys and judges' decisions. Murphy says he's willing to go after all of Ruben assets with this, and if Murphy wins the civil case, he plans to use the money for the good of the community. One idea he has is to donate to the Kristen Smart Foundation. In studio, I'm Megan Healy, KSBY News. Megan, thank you. We reached out to Paul and Ruben's attorneys today, but are told that due to the protective order issued by the judge today, they are unable to comment.